Hey everybody, it's Andy. I am the producer and director behind A Total Disruption. Um, and I just wanted to say before you see this awesome new episode of Collaborate that we are um, in the middle of a Kickstarter campaign. That's right. We are partway through and we're doing great. But uh, please do check it out on Kickstarter if you want to keep seeing these great videos. And this particular next one is the story of a YouTube channel that just skyrocketed. And there's a real good reason why. So I want to share this content with you so we can all get smarter together. Here's Mitch. I think it's pretty cool. Just the ability for, you know, average Joe Schmo in his house filming some videos to have the potential to reach millions of other people around the globe. My name is Mitchell Moffitt and I have a show on the internet called ASAP Science. The creation of stop motion whiteboard sort of animated videos about science, uh, quirky science topics and, and all sorts of stuff that relates to people's lives. We've done things uh, from like the science of morning wood or the science of orgasms to the science of productivity or procrastination. Things that people can really relate to and find in their own lives, uh, but also those kind of things you wouldn't necessarily learn in school. But to know as a kid, for me, watching someone like Bill Nye the Science Guy or like being inspired by other scientists in the public domain, Richard Feynman or Carl Sagan, who kind of inspired me to know that there's a younger generation, or not even necessarily younger, just another generation of people who would watch our videos, would watch ASAP Science and kind of inspire them in that same way is, is really, really fun. Big for live? I'm not sure. Hi. We will. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Mitch, and this is Greg. Like, my partner and I, who do the videos together, went to university together and always found ourselves sort of trying to inspire our friends and family about science and make it seem awesome. Greg, my partner, is a teacher in school as well and was finding he was using YouTube videos in the classroom. Kids were kind of identifying with that. He got a job overseas, and we've been able to, you know, run a business from different corners of the world um, and still communicate perfectly. We Skype every day, we're able to kind of go back and forth with ideas, edit the same document, you know, uh, these things that like five years ago you couldn't really do. You know, it starts out pretty simple, you're getting 10 views here and 100 views here when you first start and you know most of those are from your family and your friends and you're like okay that's kind of cool and then, and then slowly you start to see like strangers liking your videos and subscribing. The Daily Beast is an example. Andrew Sullivan had posted it quite a few times, um, which obviously in the beginning of our, of our channel, we didn't have those views really brought in some traction. Like three or four weeks ago, one of our videos hit about four million views in a week, and it was just, it literally is the craziest feeling to sort of see it go from zero to four million that fast, and to try and comprehend that number. Even like when we had 10,000 subscribers. You know, your brain can't really think about it. It's almost like when you think about the size of space or the size of humanity, like you can't rationalize or understand how many people that is. It, it obviously didn't start as, as a business, it just started as a YouTube channel, just this thing we were doing for fun uh, to hopefully reach people in this YouTube community um, because it really is a culture of its own that six months ago, literally I didn't know existed. I didn't know not only could uh, you make money from YouTube, but you could like build and grow an audience and communicate. Hey guys, so we are just hosting a live session to let you guys like see some faces behind ASAP Science. Having an influence on people, but also people can have an influence on us, and it's kind of this communication uh, two-way street. Question from Joe on Twitter, or iMasters. You know, it, it kind of breaks down that boundary of television where you can actually say at the end of a video, hey, give me your suggestions for what I should do next week, and I'll take them and hopefully can make a video about something that you're all interested in. Idea Boost is an opportunity to help starting uh, businesses. They sometimes call it like an accelerator or an incubator in a way to sort of give us all the knowledge that we probably don't have in a really fast period of time so that when we go into the future of our project, we don't have to go through all these growing pains. Instead, you kind of get the expertise from different experts from all over the entire world, um, from all sorts of fields to kind of hone in on your project and help you to uh, mold it beforehand. So Idea Boost was a chance for us to, as science geeks and science nerds, get some sort of business background and, and figure out a way to manage all the different opportunities that have come towards us. We have audiences, hundreds or thousands of people have massive audiences. How do you monetize that and how do you make it work? So there's a couple different ways now that we can make money. So one is AdSense, you know, you can make a a couple dollars for every sort of thousand views. 
use that you're getting. Obviously it is proportional to the amount of views you get, so you can make a, a comfortable living if you're making millions of views a week. What we've been sort of focusing on with the startup is how do we bring in different sponsors or advertisers, uh, integrate it into our content and find a way to make it work in our content, but that, that's also sort of funding for us. As an example, audible.com, which is uh, like an Amazon audiobooks associate. And so generally we'll just make an episode on a book that I really liked that is also on their website and then they'll offer sort of our viewers a chance to get that book for free if they go to audible.com slash ASAP as an example. Um, and so that integration, they pay for that, it sits in our video forever and hopefully gets millions of views for us and hopefully, you know, sends over some traffic to them as well. So as opposed to just kind of watching a commercial on TV when you hear ASAP Science say, hey, check out this book, I really liked it and based this episode on it. It's a powerful message to the viewer to say, hey, I trust your, your opinion, I watch your videos every week, I'm gonna go check that out. Now you could legitimately learn a full science degree online and know just as much as I know, uh, someone who went to university, um, by being taught by complete strangers from all around the world. You can learn anything online. Got a burning question you want answered? Ask it in the comments or on Facebook and Twitter.